Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. So let us celebrate the feast. Not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying, he died to sin once for all. In living, he lives to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin. And alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead. The first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man came death, by man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. On the first day of the week, very early, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb, bringing sweet spices to anoint the body. She saw that the stone had been moved away from the entrance and was dismayed. At once she ran and met Peter and the disciple whom Jesus loved. They have taken the Lord out of the tomb and I do not know where they have laid him. So Peter and John set out and ran to the tomb. John outran Peter and stooping down saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he did not enter. Then Simon Peter came up, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen wrappings lying, and the cloth which had been over his head not lying with the wrappings, but rolled together in a place by itself. Then the disciple who had reached the tomb first went in, and saw that the body of Jesus had vanished. Our Lord has gone. Has, has someone taken him? We must tell the others. And the disciples went home again. But Mary stood outside the tomb weeping. As she wept, she peered into the tomb, and she saw two men in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet, where the body of Jesus had lain. Why are you weeping, Mary? They have taken my Lord away, and I do not know where they have laid him. With these words, she turned round and saw Jesus standing there, but did not recognise him. Why are you weeping? Who is it that you are looking for? Thinking it was the gardener, she said. If it is you, sir, who removed him, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary? Rabboni? My master? Do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, that I am now ascending to my Father and your Father, my God and your God. So Mary went to the disciples as they mourned and wept, and told them these things. I have seen the Lord! But when they were told that he was alive and that she had seen him, they did not believe it. Jesus Christ is risen to
You are so restless pacing around like that. For myself, I feel exhausted. Yes, I do feel tired, but I've not been sleeping well since Thursday. That all-nighter of a trial, all the rumpus of what should have been a simple crucifixion and then Passover has made me feel my age. It did actually go off all right in the end, didn't it? Yes, you did a good job with that crowd. It was almost as if it was scripted, but all the bad weather and earthquakes scared me and I am worried that Jesus' followers might still make trouble. They might prove to be more dangerous than they looked in the garden. Can you find out what is going on? On the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together with the doors locked for fear of the Jewish leaders, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and sighed. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Again, Jesus said, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And with that, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sins, their sins are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. And at that, he disappeared from sight. Praise be! Amazing! Mary was right. Wait, I've just realised Thomas is not here. He's probably in his own house. I'm worried about him. I think he might be depressed. Well, he does seem rather negative about life and even about what Mary has told us. We must tell him what we have seen. But when they told Thomas that they had seen Christ, he said, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands and put my finger where the nails were and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Let us pray. O God, who by thy glorious resurrection of thy Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, has destroyed death and brought life and immortality to light, grant that we, being raised together with him, may know the comfort and strength of his presence and rejoice in hope of thy everlasting glory. Through the same Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom be dominion and praise for ever and ever. Amen. Bless, we beseech thee, merciful Lord, our nation and people. Give thine abundant grace to our Queen and to all who bear office throughout the realm, that in all things we may be governed righteously and in thy fear. Grant us such outward prosperity as may please thee, but above all things, grant us such faith and true religion that thy holy name may ever be glorified in our midst. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty Father, we commend to thy loving care all who suffer, especially the sick in body and mind. Grant them patience in their suffering. Cheer and uphold them with the knowledge of thy love. And if it be thy will, restore them to health and strength. For the sake of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. It's a mighty relief to get out of Jerusalem. Yes, it was so claustrophobic keeping ourselves locked away. It seems like ages since we were up that mountain and Jesus was teaching us. 
I wish I could remember more of it now. I can still remember all those situations where people are blessed. The poor in spirit, the meek, those who are persecuted. It was so different from the law that I was taught as a girl. But he talked about the law and said he was not abolishing it, but our righteousness was supposed to exceed that of the Pharisees. You know, obviously you must not murder, but being angry or insulting is as bad. Hang on a moment. There's someone walking behind us. Let's allow him to catch up. Greetings, friend. Greeting. What were you so deep in discussion about? Are you the only one visiting Jerusalem who does not know the things that have happened there in these days? What things? About Jesus of Nazareth. He was a prophet, powerful in word and deed before God and all the people. The chief priests and our rulers handed him over to be sentenced to death, and they crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one who was going to redeem Israel. And what is more, it is the third day since all this took place. In addition, some of our women amazed us. Mary Magdalene went to the tomb early this morning but didn't find his body. She came and told us that she had seen a vision of angels who said he was alive. Then some of our companions went to the tomb and found it just as she had said. But they did not see Jesus there. How foolish you are! And how slow to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Did not the Messiah have to suffer these things and then enter his glory? And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he explained to them what was said in all the scriptures concerning himself. Look, we are nearly at Emmaus and it's getting dark. Come and stay with us. So the stranger stayed and ate with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, gave thanks, broke it and began to give it to them. Then their eyes were opened and they recognised him and he disappeared from their sight. They asked each other, were not our hearts burning within us while he talked with us on the road and opened the scriptures to us? Cleopas, you are back early from your trip. Yes. We had to come. You were not dreaming when you saw him. We met him on the road. While they were still talking about this, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and frightened, thinking they saw a ghost. He said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do doubts rise in your minds? Look at my hands and my feet. It is I myself, Thomas, Touch me and see. A ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you see I have. My Lord and my God. Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. This is what I told you while I was still with you. Everything must be fulfilled that is written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets and the Psalms. Then he opened their minds so that they could understand the scriptures. He told them, This is what is written, The Messiah will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and repentance for the forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. I am going to send you what my Father has promised, but stay in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and evermore. Amen.
Yeah. <laughs>